Hello everyone, my name is Mark Edward Blanton with The Real South Africa. And I am Dr. Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. We have an amazing group trip that you will be interested in. It's with the African Diaspora News Channel, a great YouTube channel gives you great information about what's going on in Africa. But we have a group trip featuring Phil Scott, the host. And the trip is going to take place on March 16th to the 25th. It's going to go to Johannesburg and Cape Town, and yes. it's in 2022. If you're interested in traveling, please send an email to info at therealsouthafrica.com. And we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungel Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about a Nigerian football star that blew the whistle on a club coach that told him to fake an injury so that he doesn't play for Nigeria. Nigerian midfielder John Ogu has joined the voices speaking against the gross disrespect for the African Cup of Nations. He revealed that his club coach actually advised him to fake injuries so he can avoid representing his country. The player made this revelation in a series of Twitter posts. He said, I'm not even surprised at the situation of them foreign managers or clubs not wanting their players to go represent their country in tournaments. One certain manager in Portugal asked me to tell the coach of Eagles then that I was injured so I will not go for a friendly game. After I left, went back to the club, he stopped playing me and this was prior to the World Cup coming that year. I made mentions of it here and many out here said I was lying. I missed out at that World Cup list. The evil part of it was when the list came out and he found out I wasn't invited, man walked up to me and asked, I called a manager to list me and that if he wants, he can start me in the last game in the league. The disrespect to Africans and its football tournament, they don't rate any of them at all. We have seen so many tournaments, FIFA and UEFA already introduced in world football. But when it comes to Africa and Africans, it's always a different case. Wow, the degree they go to to make sure that African Cup doesn't have these good players in it. Like why? What do they have to lose? Just because I, my suspicion is they do not want the African Cup to get the shine that it deserves. If you've noticed, they have a lot of African players playing for their clubs, their European League clubs, and they do not want the same attention given to the African Cup because they know if all these players come in, like the world will start looking at Africa. And it's just so disrespectful to tell a player, a Nigerian player, don't play, act like you're not feeling okay, fake an injury so that you don't go and play for your country. What kind of, they just, they're so disrespectful and I'm so happy our players are coming out and speaking up because back in the days they were scared to talk about it. Now they feel empowered because they know that we listen. But um, I guess back in the days, no one really cared to listen to them. So I'm happy that one by one, this African players, superstars are telling us what exactly is happening to them. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the disrespect that is going on by this European leagues against Africa. I'm Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Before you go, we are having a fundraiser for the African Diaspora News Channel. We are raising money for producing more content and to help us bring the news to you that the mainstream media just refused to do so. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.